Vault Tech built places like this to conduct unethical experiments on human beings. Just thinking about it makes me sick. Let's see what we found. found Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Just open the damn door. I don't think so. Come back when you learn some manners. Vault 81 security. Ready to explain that pit boy? Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy Why are you asking about my pit boy We get plenty of scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get at the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working pit boy Now where'd you get it? I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Vault 111. And he's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? It's more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people, and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Scene, Best uh, behavior. Fort Strong. The fort was, uh, that's an right? Hey there. Hey, 
An outsider with a vault suit. There's something you don't see every day. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. It's pretty dangerous. You wouldn't last a day. Yeah, that's the fear. At least with the way the Overseer has us working, 81 will still be around for a while. Screw work. Do what you want. I wish. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. We got a barber here if you need it. I, I'm not saying you do. No signs of radiation. Hey, Ashes. Impressive. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like... Are you really from the Commonwealth? Me? No, I'm from the moon. Still got cheese in my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop. Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Gran makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> This is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Gran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. What do you do, my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, 
but Gran wouldn't let him. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts so grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Gran grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess, but I don't go there unless I have to, or unless Gran makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once though. They put a big cast on it and he had to walk with the crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Erin, look who I found! A stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Not this again. Just go back to playing with your dolls. Now I know why my dad says people from the outside are no good. Austin, don't you have to take him somewhere? Thanks a lot, mister. You scared the crap out of my friend. This is a rare sight. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. I might. For some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. Sure. You can have some blood. Excellent. 
Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Bossing around old Rusty really takes it out of you. You've no idea, Mr. Luca. Hey, will you both just get lost? You're killing my buzz here. With pleasure, sir. Fine, get caught. Then you won't have the choice to leave because the Overseer will make it for you. Hey, Outsider, do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby. And he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms, not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy, I feel better, done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. If he's addicted, it won't help. He'll get his chem somewhere else. Why do you think I'm talking to you? The only other place he could get chems is from outsiders. Believe me, if someone else was dealing in this can, I'd know. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Sounds like a typical boss to me. It's a relief to hear you say so. Compared to his predecessor, Mr. DeLuca has very little mechanical knowledge. I almost thought him unqualified. But when it comes to delegation, he's top-notch. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Just taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Who's it for? You? Me, myself, and I. Don't worry, I'm not into selling. That's my sister's thing. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. <laughs> 